Those who did not lose their lives in the storm may have lost everything else. WVUA anchor Danny Salter takes us to the Belk Center at Tuscaloosa's Bowers Park, which is providing a place to stay to hundreds of people. It's like a small town inside a city. Hundreds of tornado survivors are finding the bare necessities at the Belk Activity Center in Tuscaloosa. Many of them, like Risha Pruitt and her family, are lucky to be alive. Yes, we was in um, on Juanita Drive, um, where, it be, where it was hit real bad, where they finna start demolishing already. Risha told us there's nothing left for her family to go back to, and even if there was. We can't go back there, you know, they got it quarantined, the water, you can't drink water there because gas is in the water. There's plenty to eat and drink at the Belk Activity Center. The Red Cross of West Alabama's converted it into an emergency shelter where tornado survivors can sleep, take a shower, play with toys, and even get a hug. They can get some emotional uh, support from us because they need that. They need that emotional support because they've gone through something really traumatic. Oscar Barnes is the executive director of the West Alabama chapter of the American Red Cross. He told us between five and six hundred people are taking advantage of the Belk Center shelter. Roughly 270 survivors are staying there full time and there's room for at least 200 more. Barnes told us providing assistance like this requires tremendous teamwork. Are the uh, interfaith groups other nonprofit organizations that are just outstanding that we're coming together to provide the, for the needs of our community. Barnes told us as long as Risha and other survivors like her need the shelter, they'll keep it open. In Tuscaloosa, Danny Salter, WVUA News.